All right, guys, so for today's video, hi, my name's Regan. If you're new here, let me check the mic because I film way too many times, 30 to 40 minute videos, and it's off, and that's always really upsetting. All right, so the mic is on. So today we're doing something a little bit different because I already did a Reagan Rambles this week. Um, I don't wanna do another one because I don't have, I have things to say, but I have kind of a lot to say in this video. We're gonna do some housekeeping. I'm going to do a mask with you all. I'm not going to put on any makeup today. I'm just kind of letting my skin breathe because it's, it's having a good day. So yeah, I just wanna let my skin kind of rest and I'm just going to use this Malaya mask that I got in a box walla bundle and I really like this mask I think it's a good one and then I'm also going to do a tag I saw that JD and Dawn from I think it's Dawn's life over 40 I'll have both their videos linked down below they're doing a tag and it's all about the eyes so I want to participate I printed out all the questions and then I'm also going to be talking about what was in this month's detox box and my thoughts on last month's pie so this is going to be jam Packed. I think a lot of us are shut in for the weekend because a lot of things have gotten shut down with the coronavirus. So yeah, I definitely am. Um, here I am now. And yeah, let's just talk about all this stuff. Heck, I have these. We're just going to talk about them too. I have all the Cloven Hollow. These are their new lip velvets. Let's do some swatches of those because we're here. So let's just roll in and get cracking because these are all things I've wanted to talk about. Um, but I haven't, even I have this I want to talk about. I just have a lot of things kind of product related to talk about rather than issue based. So yeah. So first off, housekeeping. I have added a section now to my description box and it has a bunch of different discount codes. So I haven't had a lot up until now. Well, actually what happened was I realized I had a lot more than I thought I did. So I just have all those listed down below. If you are curious or you wanna save some money on some brands I've liked or products I've talked about in the past, that will always be there. I just want you all to know it's there now. You don't have to use them, but it does save you money. Most of the time, codes themselves aren't any affiliation. They just really help you guys save money. It does. I mean, I'm affiliated with the brand, but just because you use the code doesn't mean that I get any commission from that. You actually have to click the link. So the codes are just truly to help you guys and I have them down below if you want to use them because you want to save some coin. And then... What else? Oh, so I'm planning on doing a video because I've been watching a lot of people's. I watched Khaki do one. I watched uh, Rob Beauty Christie. I watched Samantha Robindahl's. I watched uh, Hannah from Smoky Glow. They all did videos about what it's like to be a YouTuber. And I would love to do one for you guys. And they basically all ask their audience like questions you guys, is ha you guys, is you guys have about just what it's like. I mean, and if you guys have anything, if you want to know about sponsorships, if you want to know about starting out, I mean, I'm relatively small, but I have been doing this full time for a year now. And I definitely have a different perspective of it now than I did at this time last year. So yeah, I've just learned a lot in this past year and I'd love to make a video and kind of share with you. Maybe you're curious, maybe you're also a creator. I'd love to help in any way I can. So any questions, I mean, how to monetize, how to make money if I make money, because that's a question everyone always asks me in the outside world, not here really on YouTube. I think you guys understand that there is some money made through like affiliate links and through AdSense, but <laughs> it's always interesting when I tell people what I do and they're like, oh, the first thing they ask is, do you make any money on that? And it's kind of like, I don't know, it can just be kind of would you ask anyone that about any other job? You know, I think it's just kind of rude. But anyway, that's my two cents about it. Um, so yeah, those are my two housekeeping. I do have codes now down below and then I'll always have that in all my videos. And then just ask me questions if you have them, leave in the comments and I will try and put a video together. I asked also on Instagram, so I did screenshot all of those. So if you ask over on Instagram, I already have those, just FYI. Let's put this mask on just so I can wipe my hands off. I really have liked this mask. It's a nice honey base, which you guys know I like. I actually have used quite a bit of this. I was just looking at this like, wow, Regan, you really, you dug into this one. I have really, really liked it. It's kind of been a nice replacement for me for the honey mud because it is a honey base. And then it has all kinds of different herbs in it as well. I love anything with honey to do these kind of videos with because it doesn't dry down and dry up and irritate my skin. So 
That's why I like a honey base. Makes my eyes really pop too. So yeah, I'm going to go wash my hands off and then we'll start talking about the tag and then I'll start talking about some new products and then I'll talk about the detox box. So I know this is kind of a crammed video, but I just, I was just thinking, why not? What the hey, what the hey? I didn't film for a good week and we're sitting down and none of this stuff would warrant a more than a five minute video. So why not just kind of put it all in one? All right, so just, I'm trying to think what am I gonna do first? Let's do the tag first. So this is a tag that's all about the eyes. Um, I believe that JD and Dawn came up with this idea because they saw someone else's tag from like 2013 or something. So I'll have their videos linked down below. They explain it a lot better where they came up with this, but I still wanna participate. So the first question is what eye cream slash serum do you use? So I'm always using something different. That's the thing about my channel. I do do five videos a week. So I like to have just different things kind of in rotation. Skincare wise though, I kind of stick to certain things or similar ingredients and stuff just so my skin doesn't break out. But I have been using lately the that I was going to say the new, but it's just kind of newer to me. It's the Fit Glow Beauty I C Firm Under Eye Cream. This has vitamin C in it. So I got it at Beauty Heroes and I've just been using it and I, I do like this. This is one of the few actual Fit Glow products I've tried in the skincare realm that I really like and my skin really likes. I tried a couple of their creams and I just wasn't obsessed with them. I mean, truly, but this I do like thus far. It's really lightweight. Um, yeah, I do also really like the Indie Lee Eye Wake and Eye Storm. It's one of my favorites. One thing about Eye Storm though, I feel like they take forever to use up. I had that Eye Wake and Eye Storm for a good like year or more, and I was using that daily, twice a day. So this one I'll probably have for a very long time as well because I just feel like you use such a small amount that it takes a long time to use. The next question is what's your favorite under eye concealer. So I picked three. I am trying the new Kosas one right now, so I'm still kind of figuring it out. I definitely do like it, but I'm trying to figure out is this a favorite or not. But I have been using the Han Skincare Cosmetics Concealer for a while. I think this is a great under $20 option. Um, it has nice wear to it. It has great coverage, but it is really lightweight. So can't go wrong with this one. And then also I have been using the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I have shade Arrowroot and I have liked this. This is one that I think, again, I like things that are very lightweight but have good coverage and both of these have that. And both of these also have a doe foot applicator. Same goes for the last one I'm going to mention. I really have liked the Fit Glow. This is their C1 Concealer, shade C1. This is great. It also has the doe foot applicator like the other two. So I think I really just have a thing for the doe foot applicator. I read someone's comment that they don't like the doe foot applicator. I understand. Um, hey guys, so for some reason part of this video got cut out whenever I loaded my SD card into my computer. So I'm just going to be talking over some of the up close. I just made the executive decision to not delete this footage or this film and start over just because I really liked what I did so far. So yeah, this will just be probably the next few minutes of up close footage. So I actually have liked doe foot applicators. I just have, I think they work nicely. And then my last favorite one is the Fit Glow one. I just think it has really nice coverage, doesn't crease. And yeah, it's just a really good one. Next question is favorite brow product. So mine is actually this Jane Iredale Pure Brows Clear Brow Gel. It just sets the brows really nicely, super easy to use, super fast. Next question in the tag is favorite eyeshadow palette. So I really do like this Honey Bee Gardens eyeshadow palette. It's the Renaissance palette. It just has all the neutrals you'd ever need, truly. Great formulation, too. Next question is, what is your favorite eye makeup remover? So I've really been liking this YN Naturals. This is their kind of like a water-based micellar remover. It's really, really good. And then next question after that is favorite mascara. I have really liked both the Lily Lolo and the Ilia mascaras. They both wear like conventional mascaras, but they are clean. So the Ilia one has more of a pipe cleaner like wand and, or I mean the Lily Lolo one has a pipe cleaner like wand. The Ilia one has more of a silicone wand. So 
kind of different strokes for different folks. And then next question is, what is your favorite eyeliner? So I have been loving both the Josephine and the Lavina eyeliners. So sorry, this is kind of shaky, but they both have felt tips. They both just create such a nice defined line. And I would highly recommend both of them. I think they both are really, really nice products. Okay, so the next question is, what is your favorite single eyeshadow? The first thing I thought of, I do really like the Han single pans. I think they're really good. But this is something that I just really like because it's so different. This is the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster. So this is one that I just, I love the wear and the finish of this. It's a little bit messy, not gonna lie but I just really, really like the wear and the finish of it. I think it's really beautiful and it's one of the best kind of like potted, glittery, really shimmery, smoky eye products I've used ever. So that one, that one hands down. I would repurchase more of those and they're kind of pricey, but I just think they're worth it because they're so different in what they are. And even it's a little bit kind of like borderline conventional, but it's just really, really good. Then the last question is, what are your favorite sunglasses? These are my sunglasses. They are prescription. And so they're my favorite because they're the only sunglasses I wear because they're prescription. So these are from Alexander McQueen. I actually got these, put them on at an outlet. Yeah, you can see my ring light. But I got these at an outlet and that's where I would recommend getting sunglasses, guys, because you get really good deals on outlet sunglasses. I got those for, I believe, under $150. Yes, they're a designer pair. I've had them for two plus years, maybe going on three. Um, and I got per my prescription put in them whenever I needed to get glasses. I'm a recent glasses convert. I used to not need them, but now I do. And... Yeah, they'll probably be with me for a while because I paid quite a bit to get my prescription put in there. So yeah, that's just what I use. All right, and then let's talk about some newer things. So Revlon has released this and I purchased it on Amazon. It's their Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfect and Smoothing Makeup and Skincare Primer. So this is made with vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid. Why did I purchase this, you may ask? It is actually EWG verified. So I was kind of interested in what it is. And now that I get it, I'm a little bit disappointed in it, just straight out, because it's definitely, it's kind. It's one of those things that it's like it's clean, but it's not like green or what I would what I would even really consider like green at all because it has paraffins in it. It has dimethicones. I might send this back. This wasn't. I didn't even really look at the ingredients. I just kind of was like, oh, it's EWG verified, and I want to talk about it on the channel. Um, but just looking at it, I haven't even opened it yet. It has pumpkin seed. It's pretty cheap. It's not even one of those things where I'm like, oh, those are ingredients. I don't know. I do know these ingredients. I know what paraffins are. I know what dimethicone is. It has silicones and it has PEGs. Yeah, this just isn't, I'm kind of surprised that EWG verified this. Just being straight up. I just, it's kind of weird. Um, it's definitely not awful by any means, but I just, yeah, it's kind of odd. So moving on from that, I do have the Cloven Hollow. These are their newest shades of lip velvets. So I just thought that we would open them and swatch them here. I will put these in Top Shelf Tuesday and see what I use and I like. I just emptied out the lip velvets that I got when Cloven Hollow first launched like two-ish years ago. Um, they were just drying out and getting older. So yeah, let me just open all of these. These are more nude shades and I'm kind of excited about them, so. Yeah, so I'm just going to be talking to you guys while I swatch. I was wearing my hair tie or my scrunchie all the way up here, so that's what that is. All right, so I'm going to try and go from lightest to darkest. So this one, this is shade L.E.J. And I'm really bad at describing colors, but this one looks like just a typical nude type shade, pinky nude. I really liked their formulation in the past, yeah. Feels so much better just even swatching wise than the ones that I had that were two and a half years old because those ones were drying out. But yeah, that's really pretty. Um, I will wear that and use that. That's just a really neutral shade. That'll be really good for just kind of every day. Okay, and then this one is Clove and Hollow's Darling. 
So this one also looks like kind of a more pinky nude shade. Again, they do have a doe foot applicator just so you guys can see the size. I really, I like those. Those are my kind of shades. I'm very, very neutral. Um, I like really neutral shades because I will do an eye look and be like, huh, what the hell shade should I use now? And yeah, that's, those are shades that can kind of go with anything. All right, so this is shade Fever. It's kind of like a brick red looking shade. Sorry, there's a glare. These are, have like a kind of acrylic type packaging. Wow, that looks a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. Okay, wow. So that's definitely more of a nighttime lip color for someone like myself. It's pretty. We'll see if I use that as much. Um, I really kind of stick to these more neutral shades. Okay, and then this is shade Sangria. So this one is very, very deep red. One thing I've liked about their liquid lips is they do last all day and they are waterproof. Water resistant, I guess, would be the best term. So yeah, I just wanted to swatch these. I will talk about them in Top Shelf Tuesday. All right, guys, because we're here and for the heck of it, because we're swatching things, I actually got a new Kosas lipstick because I haven't tried this shade. It's Royal. Whenever I did my Sephora order to get their new... um. Can well, I dropped it. Anywho, whenever I ordered their new concealer, I decided I wanted to try this shade because I just hadn't before. So let's swatch it together because, again, we're here. Okay. It's a really berry. It's a very cool toned berry shade. I'll focus you guys a little bit better. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about these lippies because they're all new. Cloven Hello did send me these and then I purchased this one from Kosas. All right, so I'll take those off whenever I take off my mask because I'm going to take a shower, I think, after this. So, yeah, I will use all of these and get back with you guys in Top Shelf Tuesday. I just purchased some and was sent some, and I just had them sitting on my makeup table, wanted to talk about them, and I haven't. All right, and then Pie. This was featured last month, and I have their washcloth right here, too. This was also in last month's detox box. I really have liked um, the washcloth a lot. I've been really impressed with it. I know that Caroline really liked this. I washed off a mask with it that I did last night, so I haven't re-washed this yet. But I can tell it's a very nice quality washcloth. I'm only using this on my face. This is not a body washcloth for me. And it just is really good quality. So that was kind of an extra thing we got in that box that I wanted to mention. I have used their, this is their uh, light work rose hip cleansing oil. I haven't been in love with this. I'm just going to be honest. I know Caroline really likes this. For me personally, I really like the One Love Organics vitamin B cleansing oil. That's a fave of mine that I just think is really good. I also have really been liking the Maya Chia one. It's a really nice one. This one, it's kind of a mid one. It's kind of for me, I don't hate it and I will use this until empty because it works, it's effective, but I just have things I like more. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. I'm glad I got to try it through this box because, and I'm also glad I only got an almost an ounce size and I don't have like a full big bottle that I purchased myself, really excited about it. I've just tried others that I like more. That's the straight and narrow. And then we also got the Kakui and Jojoba Bead Skin Brightening Exfoliator. So how you're supposed to use this, you're supposed to put this on your face when it's dry and then add water and then it rinses off like milk, kind of like a cream cleanser. So it's interesting in that regard. I have liked this because it's a really gentle physical exfoliant. And I, I liked this one. I liked this one more than I liked this kind of thing. Um, I actually would even rank it pretty high up in physical exfoliants and clean beauty. All right, and then we got two more products that I ended up gifting to my mother because she has much more sensitive skin than I do. And Pi is just a brand that I think is more for people with really sensitive skin, and she's one of those. So it was their Camellia Rose Gentle Hydrating Cleanser, and then also their Chamomile and Rosehip Calming Day Cream. She has liked these products so far. My mom's not like a professional reviewer. She's not even like me, where I know how to kind of speak on products perhaps in a way. My mom does not know how to do that. That is okay. She I, she doesn't need to know how to do that. That's not her job. But uh, she has liked them so far. So that was a really good value last month, I will say, because you got basically five products in the box and I had a good use for them. I Again, family got some, I got some, win-win situation. 
All right, so this is this month's box. I have opened it because I wanted to make sure it was what I thought it was, and it is. So this month's box is Intersense, and it's a really good box. The detox box is around 50 bucks a month. It depends on how often you get it. I do get this one sent to me, guys. They always ask monthly. I hope that they keep asking monthly because I have enjoyed getting it. One thing that's interesting about uh, the detox box is you get such a mix, I'm pulling all this stuff out, of uh, body care, skin care, uh, hair care, makeup sometimes, and they do really good bundles. So one more thing. We got all of these five products from Innersense, and Innersense is a luxury line of hair care. So I'm just going to mention the first two because I've been using these and I've liked them. And I actually have these right here open in my little cabinet back here. Uh, one is the Innersense I Create Waves it's a pink Himalayan and salt spray to add texture and enhance waves. I've really liked this product. It's a good one. Um, I know I like that one already because I've used it. And then we also got the Refresh Dry Shampoo in this month's box. So this is the March 2020 box. You can still order this if you're interested in it. I've really liked this. I'm almost, I have this one right here almost empty on this one. So this one's come in perfect timing. This is different. It's not a powder dry shampoo. It is a foam dry shampoo and it's really nice. I've really enjoyed it. Again, I'm almost empty. So I'm glad to get those two for sure because I know I like those two products from Innersense. This one, I know what I'm going to do with it. I personally don't like this for my hair type. I just need something a little bit stronger. This is their Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. It's a lightweight detangling spray to increase moisture and add shine. I'm giving this to my sister a lot for my niece. This is a really nice size. It's 10 fluid ounces. I think if you have a kid, this works great on really fine thin kid hair. I have weird hair where I have very fine hair, but I have a lot of it and it gets really tangled and stuff. So I just need something heavier than this product. So it works great for my niece and that's who I'm giving it to. Um, I'm glad to get it in this box because now I have a full size to give them because I've been giving them little samples that I've gotten through bundles and stuff because that is a product that I feel appears in a lot of different things. Just it's not a product my hair loves. I'm fine with that. And then we also got a full size, so 10 fluid ounces of their Pure Harmony hair bath and also their Pure Inspiration Daily Conditioner. All right, so Here's my deal. I have tried their hydrating line. Didn't love their shampoo, but I really like their conditioner. Then I tried their color line for my hair and I actually did like those. So I haven't tried this line. I will try, or this part of the line. I will try it and see. It says that it's a gentle cleansing shampoo for my fine to medium hair, which I do actually have fine hair. And then this one is a lightweight daily conditioner for fine to medium hair. So we'll see. I'm just not 100% sure because I've had good experiences with their stuff and bad experiences with their stuff. It really just depends on your hair type and that's how it's been for me. Alrighty guys, so let me know your thoughts on all of this. I know this is really casual and super random and I just pulled a lot of stuff together, but I've wanted to talk about all this stuff and I just didn't think that every aspect of this video warranted like a 10 to 15 minute video. It could all just go in one of these and this will probably be like 30 minutes at most. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.